Biophysics is the use of quantitative approaches to understand the physical basis of biological processes. In the PhD program in molecular biophysics at Johns Hopkins University, we train our students to do just that. Our program spans two campuses at Hopkins, and it's home to 35 faculty members from 13 departments across the university. We offer opportunities for learning in diverse, exciting, and cutting edge areas of research. And we do all this within a congenial, collaborative environment. We'd like to give you an inside look at just a few of our labs and introduce you to some of the researchers who call this institution home. Welcome to Biophysics. Welcome to the Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Facility here at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. Uh, let's take a look inside. So our facility houses three nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometers. Nuclear magnetic resonance is uh, specifically catered towards looking at atomic level detail of biological samples. So this is really nice because in our program, we like to look at structure, dynamics, thermodynamics, kinetics, all of which can actually be assessed by nuclear magnetic resonance. So at Johns Hopkins, we are committed to providing nuclear magnetic resonance as a resource for a wide variety of our research labs which encompass all disciplines and all schools at the institution. And we have made sure that even if you are not an expert in the field, we provide many mechanisms by which you can use the facility to address questions that you might have or to carry out research that, that you might want to. So the instruments here in this facility in particular are specifically made to get the kind of resolution, the kind of quality that we need to understand these specific systems that other facilities wouldn't be able to, to do. If you're coming from a large institution, from a small institution, it doesn't really matter. Once you get into the program, it's really all about the science, it's all about the research. So we're in the Center for Molecular Biophysics, which is a space shared by multiple labs. I think the thing that's really unique about Hopkins is that a lot of the labs are really small and the program is really small and therefore everyone knows each other. And I really got the sense that everyone felt like they could collaborate together, which is really important. This facility specializes in solution biophysics. So we have a lot of spectroscopic instruments that let us study proteins and macromolecules. So part of my job is helping people from labs that aren't familiar with these techniques do the experiments right, how to think about them right, and then how to analyze their data. And I think that really opens up their scientific world. The program in molecular biophysics is definitely challenging. And I know that when I decided to come to graduate school, I was looking for a challenge and that's what I got. I think that starting all the way from the coursework in the first couple of years, we get a very in-depth overview of all the problems in the field of biophysics. I think everyone here is constantly striving to do better science. Starting in the first year, you know, the course load is not light, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like frivolous work. It seems like everything that we're doing is gonna be important for my, for my research. I think students that do well here are engaged in science. I come back, when you think about what's special about this program, I really think it's the education that the students get and how they are taught to think about problems and figure out how to learn about their systems. And they're really encouraged to figure out how to answer questions they're interested in, not just told how to do stuff. In our facility, we do a lot of single molecule microscopy and use single molecule methods in order to study the individual physics of DNA, RNA, protein interaction. So here we're looking at two channel turf microscopy. We're using two different lasers to excite a fluorophore and look at the energy transfer from one of the molecules to another molecule. So this is an optical trap, and we have two different lasers here that are both holding two different beads. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to find a piece of DNA between the two beads, single molecules of DNA, and then pull on them and then do various experiments. One of the things that I didn't realize until I was actually in the program was how multifaceted the PMD training is. Not only do I get to learn about how to be a good scientist and come up with smart experiments, we also get a lot of training in public speaking and writing grants, writing papers, networking, building our career, and you don't always see that in the recruitment weekend. This is for keeping all of our specimens frozen. So obviously liquid nitrogen is really cold, also this is going to be loud.
One of the tremendous discoveries of the 20th century was the realization that cells run on chemistry, on molecules. And we want to try to see what those molecules look like because that's going to tell us how they ultimately work. And what you can see here, which is really interesting, so this guy here is actually the same as one of these specimens I'm showing you here. And the bottom line is, once you have an engineering understanding of the cell and the things that are maybe attacking it or the things that have gone wrong, then you can go in and start designing repairs to that or drugs that will interact to fix the problem you currently have or to stop a virus or a disease from causing harm to a human. So I'm going to show you the biophysics famous x-ray room. I don't want you to see the password, but <laughs> you can come in. So the X-ray facility has a generator that allows the students to be trained in freezing, collecting data, and analyzing the data. You got a needle, Sandra. Hopkins is really a great scientific environment. You can collaborate with any faculty. If you don't have the technology in the lab that you're working in, you can collaborate with other faculty, try to answer the biological question that you're studying. To be a successful student in uh, biophysics, the student has to have the drive and the passion to do it. After that, biophysics will provide the questions that they will make them very happy to succeed.